Hi everyone, I'm going to keep this video pretty short because there's really not a whole lot to this. I don't really want to get into all the bowels of JavaScript. So what you're seeing here is a SharePoint list uh, called NF Business Days. And the whole concept here is that I need to have a new text form with some validation on there that prevents a user from submitting that form if the date select selected is within 30 business days of today. So you can see if I click on new item, Here's my form, it's a fairly straightforward one. I have a, a date control here. Today is the 22nd of May. Now, if I want to see how many business days there are between say the 29th of May and today, I can click on this button here and you can see I get a pop-up that says number of business days between the future date and now is six business days. And that's because it's Friday now, the 29th, is a Friday, so there's five business days next week, plus today, and there's your six days. So this does take into account that today's uh, is potentially a business day. Now, the other thing I have is this section here, which actually lets you know that I want to prevent somebody from submitting this form unless the date selected here is at least 30 business days away from today. So if I try to click on save, I get a message here saying chosen date cannot be within uh, 30 business days. If I then come over here and let's say I change this to August and we'll do August 29th and I do get number of business days, I have 71 now. So now if I click on save, it should actually create that item for me. And there you go, perfect. Now, how did I do this? I'm gonna jump over here and this is the actual form design. Now there's really no business day calculation built into new text forms at this stage. So I did have to build out a bit of a workaround. So first of all, I'm going to double click on the date control and you'll see a couple of things here. First of all, I have a CSS class that I've given here or a set called CSS date chosen. Now I haven't actually defined that CSS class because I'm not really using it for changes to the UI, I'm just using it as a way to find this particular control uh, within JavaScript. The other thing I have done is under validation, I have turned on use custom validation, so I've set that to yes, and I've also set the function that I want to call. So this is a JavaScript function that I created called date business date validation. And you can see there's that text message that, or that warning or error message that I received on my form when I try to submit within 30 business days. Okay, pretty straightforward there. Now I'm going to jump into the actual form settings and this is where I've put in all my JavaScript. Now, the first function you can pretty much ignore. That one called do work, that's the actual little bit of JavaScript that runs when I click on that button. That button there is purely for me to do some debugging. You don't need that button at all. You don't need this JavaScript here at all. So. So this get num business days, you don't need that at all. Here is my actual validation function. You can see it takes some source and arguments and we're doing uh, actually finding that date control. That's what that is doing, right? There's my CSS date chosen class. I'm figuring out uh, the current date, which is today. And then I have another function that I call and here's my if result is less than 30 days. So for example, if you have a scenario where you need somebody to be able to submit a form, but only if, if it's within 15 days, you know, or greater than 15 days, then you can just change that number to 15. So pretty straightforward there. As to the actual function that does the business day calculations, I have a function here called calc business days. It takes two date controls and it does a whole bunch of like mathematical calculations to figure out what the actual business days are. Right, I'm not gonna go into all the details of that. The last function I have is actually called get date only. And the reason why I have that is because I had a few issues in regards to having two date controls and they were using times as well. And so it really caused some, some weird calculations to occur. I didn't really care about the time. All I wanted to know is if I select this date and I wanna compare it to the current date, that's all I really care about. So this just strictly removes the, the time component of the date. That is pretty much it. There's really not a whole lot to, to this. So once you have this, now you have that ability to actually say, uh, 
prevent somebody from submitting that form if they haven't uh, picked a particular date within those 60 days. Okay. Potentially, you could actually have uh, something appear when they select the date, actually show you how many business days were selected. That's probably a little bit more work, but yeah, you know, could be something a uh, future little project to do. So hopefully this is uh, helpful. I've included a download of this form on this blog post, so feel free to download it and try that out in your environment. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, again, have any suggestions to do this in a you know, better way or something like that, feel free to post in the comment section at the bottom of this post. Thanks for your time, guys.